Welcome back. Prompt. Steps to build effective habits answer. Prompt. How to stay organized at work answer. Prompt. Tips for creating a productive morning routine answer. Creating a productive morning routine can set a positive tone for the rest of your day. Here are some tips to help you establish an effective morning routine. 1. Wake up early. Give yourself enough time in the morning to complete your routine without feeling rushed. Waking up even 30 minutes earlier can make a significant difference. 2. Hydrate. Start your day by drinking a glass of water to rehydrate your body after a night's sleep. This can boost your energy levels and improve focus. 3. Limit screen time. Avoid checking your phone or computer first thing in the morning. Instead, focus on activities that promote mindfulness and productivity. 4. Exercise. Incorporate some form of physical activity, whether it's a quick workout, yoga, or stretching. This can help wake you up and improve your mood. 5. Meditate or practice mindfulness. Spend a few minutes meditating, practicing deep breathing, or engaging in mindfulness exercises to center your thoughts and reduce stress. 6. Set intentions or goals. Take a moment to reflect on your goals for the day. Writing down your priorities can help you stay focused and organized. 7. Eat a healthy breakfast. Fuel your body with a nutritious breakfast that includes protein, healthy fats, and whole grains to sustain your energy levels. 8. Plan your day. Review your schedule, to-do list, or any appointments you have. This helps you mentally prepare for the day ahead. 9. Read or listen to something inspirational. Spend a few minutes reading a book, listening to a podcast, or watching a motivational video to inspire you. 10. Limit decisions. Simplify your morning by planning your outfit, meals, and tasks the night before. This reduces decision fatigue and helps you start the day with clarity. 11. Create a consistent routine. Try to wake up and follow your routine at the same time every day, even on weekends. Consistency helps reinforce habits. 12. Be flexible. While having a routine is important, be open to adjusting it as needed. Life can be unpredictable, so adaptability is key. Remember, the best routine is one that aligns with your personal goals and lifestyle. Experiment with different activities and time allocations to find what works best for you. Prompt. How to prioritize daily tasks answer. Prompt. Techniques to avoid procrastination answer. Prompt. Top time management techniques answer. What do you struggle with the most when it comes to managing your time effectively? What habits have you tried implementing in the past that haven't worked as well? Let's start by understanding your specific challenges and find a technique that fits your needs. Prompt. How to practice mindfulness in daily life answer. Practicing mindfulness in daily life can help you become more present, reduce stress, and enhance your overall well-being. Here are some practical ways to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. 1. Mindful breathing. Take a few moments throughout the day to focus on your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. Hold for a moment and exhale slowly through your mouth. This can help ground you and bring your attention back to the present. 2. Mindful eating. Pay attention to the taste, texture, and aroma of your food. Eat slowly, savoring each bite, and try to eliminate distractions like TV or smartphones during meals. 3. Body scan. Take a few minutes to do a body scan. Close your eyes and mentally scan your body from head to toe, noticing any sensations, tension, or areas of relaxation. 4. Mindful walking. When walking, focus on the sensation of your feet touching the ground, the rhythm of your breath, and the sights and sounds around you. This can turn a simple walk into a mindful practice. 5. Single tasking. Instead of multitasking, focus on one task at a time. Whether it's working, cleaning, or even having a conversation, give it your full attention. 6. Gratitude journaling. Spend a few minutes each day writing down things you are grateful for. This practice can help shift your focus to the positive aspects of your life. 7. Mindful listening. When conversing with others, practice active listening. Pay full attention to the speaker without planning your response while they talk. This fosters deeper connections and understanding. 8. Daily check-ins. Set aside a few moments at various points in the day to check in with yourself. Notice your thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations without judgment. 9. 
Mindfulness apps. Consider using mindfulness apps like Headspace, Calm, or Insight Timer for guided meditations and mindfulness exercises. 10. Limit distractions. Create a mindful environment by reducing distractions. This might involve decluttering your space, turning off notifications, or setting boundaries around technology use. 11. Mindful transitions. Use transitions between activities, like moving from work to home, as an opportunity to practice mindfulness. Take a few deep breaths or set an intention for the next activity. 12. Nature connection. Spend time in nature, even if it's just a few minutes outside. Observe the details around you, the colors, sounds, and sensations, to cultivate mindfulness. Remember, mindfulness is a skill that takes practice. Start small and gradually incorporate more mindfulness techniques into your daily life. Over time, you may find it easier to stay present and engaged in the moment. Prompt. Tips for setting SMART goals answer, sure. Here are some tips for setting SMART goals. 1. Specific. Make your goal clear and specific. Instead of saying, I want to get fit, try I want to run 5 kilometers without stopping. 2. Measurable. Ensure that your goal can be measured. This helps you track your progress. For example, I want to save $1,000 in six months is measurable. Three, achievable. Set a goal that is realistic and attainable. Consider your current resources and constraints. For instance, if you currently run one kilometer, aiming for five kilometers in a week might be too ambitious. Four, relevant. Your goals should matter to you and align with your broader objectives. Ask yourself why this goal is important and how it fits into your life. Five, time bound. Set a deadline for your goal. This creates a sense of urgency and helps you stay focused. For example, I want to complete a course by the end of the month. By following these tips, you can create effective SMART goals that will help you stay motivated and on track. Good luck. Prompt. How to maintain motivation during tough times answer. What specific tough time are you struggling with right? Now, can you tell me more about the motivation you're trying to maintain? Prompt. Steps for effective decision-making answer. Sure. Here are some steps for effective decision-making. 1. Identify the decision. Clearly define the decision you need to make. Understanding the problem is the first step. 2. Gather information. Collect relevant data and information that will help you understand your options. This can include research, expert opinions, and personal experiences. 3. Identify alternatives. List all possible options or alternatives available to you. Don't limit yourself at this stage. Consider as many possibilities as you can. 4. Weigh the evidence. Evaluate the pros and cons of each alternative. Consider the potential outcomes and how they align with your goals and values. 5. Choose among alternatives. Based on your evaluation, select the option that seems the most beneficial and feasible. 6. Take action. Implement your decision. Create a plan for how you will execute it and what steps you need to take. 7. Review your decision. After some time, reflect on the decision and its outcomes. Assess whether it was effective and what you might do differently in the future. Remember, decision-making is a skill that improves with. Practice, so don't hesitate to learn from each experience. Prompt. Techniques to boost creativity answer. Boosting creativity can be achieved through various techniques and practices. Here are some effective ones. 1. Mind mapping. Visualize ideas and their connections on a map. This helps in organizing thoughts and generating new ones. 2. Brainstorming. Set a time limit and write down as many ideas as possible without self-editing. Quantity often leads to quality. 3. Change your environment. A new setting can spark fresh perspectives. 4. Daily journaling. Regularly writing down thoughts can free up mental space and encourage idea flow. 5. Meditation. Helps clear the mind, reducing stress and encouraging open thinking. 6. Limitations and constraints. Working within specific limits can enhance problem solving and inspire innovation. 7. Cross-pollination. Combining ideas from different fields can lead to unexpected breakthroughs. 8. Engage in new experiences. Travel, try new hobbies, or learn a new skill to gain fresh perspectives. 
9. Mindfulness Exercises Staying present can enhance creativity by reducing mental clutter. 10. Creative Challenges Set small tasks or puzzles to stimulate creative thinking. 11. Collaboration Working with others can introduce new ideas and viewpoints. 12. Regular breaks Short breaks can refresh the mind and boost creative thinking. 13. Read widely. Explore diverse topics to expand your knowledge and inspire new ideas. 14. Exercise. Physical activity boosts brain function and creativity. 15. Embrace failure. View failures as learning experiences and opportunities for creative growth. Remember, Creativity is a skill that can be nurtured and developed with practice and persistence. Prompt. How to practice active listening answer. Practicing active listening involves several key steps to ensure you're genuinely engaging with the speaker. Here's how to do it. 1. Give full attention. Put away distractions like your phone or computer. Face the speaker and maintain eye contact. 2. Show that you're listening. Use verbal cues like I see or I understand. Nod or use facial expressions to demonstrate engagement. 3. Provide feedback. Paraphrase what the speaker says to show you've understood. So, you're saying, ask clarifying questions if something is unclear. 4. Defer judgment. Listen without forming opinions or preparing your response while the other person is speaking. Avoid interrupting. 5. Respond appropriately. Be honest in your feedback, but maintain respect and empathy. Share your thoughts or suggestions when appropriate, connecting them back to what the speaker said. 6. Practice patience. Allow the speaker to finish their points fully before responding. Be comfortable with pauses or silence, giving them time to think. By incorporating these practices, you can enhance your ability to listen actively and foster better communication. Prompt. Tips for improving concentration answer. Prompt. How to achieve a work-life balance answer. Achieving a work-life balance can be a rewarding journey. Here are some friendly tips to help you along the way. 1. Set boundaries. Clearly define your work hours and stick to them. Let your colleagues know when you're available and when you're not. 2. Prioritize tasks. Use tools like to-do lists or digital planners to prioritize your tasks. Focus on what's most important and try to delegate when possible. 3. Take breaks. Don't forget to take regular breaks throughout your workday. A short walk or a few minutes of stretching can do wonders for your productivity and mental clarity. 4. Unplug after work. Make a conscious effort to disconnect from work emails and messages after hours. This helps you recharge and focus on personal time. 5. Make time for yourself. Schedule activities that you enjoy, whether it's a hobby, exercise, or spending time with loved ones. Treat these moments as important appointments. 6. Practice mindfulness. Techniques like meditation or deep breathing can help reduce stress and improve your overall well-being. 7. Communicate. Talk to your employer or team about your needs. Many workplaces are becoming more flexible and understanding about work-life balance. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you and making adjustments as needed. Good luck on your journey to a balanced life. Prompt, benefits of journaling daily answer. Journaling daily can offer a wide range of benefits for mental, emotional, and even physical well-being. Here are some of the key advantages. 1. Emotional expression. Journaling provides a safe space to express feelings and emotions, helping to process complex thoughts and experiences. 2. Stress reduction. Writing about stressful events can help to alleviate anxiety and stress by providing an outlet for emotions and a way to gain perspective. 3. Self-reflection. Regular journaling encourages self-reflection, allowing individuals to gain insights into their thoughts, behaviors, and motivations. 4. Goal setting. Journaling can be a powerful tool for setting and tracking goals, helping to clarify intentions and monitor progress. 5. Improved mental clarity. Writing down thoughts can help to organize and clarify them, leading to better decision-making and problem-solving. 6. Enhance creativity. Daily writing can stimulate creative thinking, allowing new ideas to emerge and flourish. 7. Memory improvement. Journaling can enhance memory and comprehension by reinforcing experiences and lessons learned. 8. 
mindfulness and presence. The act of writing can foster mindfulness, helping individuals to stay present and engaged with their thoughts and feelings. 9. Personal growth. Regularly reflecting on experiences and emotions can lead to personal growth and greater self-awareness. 10. Better communication skills. Writing regularly can improve overall writing and communication skills, making it easier to articulate thoughts and feelings. 11. Health benefits. Some studies suggest that expressive writing can have physical health benefits, including improved immune function and reduced symptoms of chronic illness. 12. Gratitude practice. Journaling can incorporate gratitude exercises, helping to shift focus towards positive aspects of life and enhancing overall well-being. 13. Legacy creation. Journals can serve as a record of life experiences, thoughts, and feelings, creating a personal legacy for future generations. Incorporating daily journaling into your routine can be a simple yet powerful way to enhance various aspects of your life. Whether you choose to write about your day, express your emotions, or explore your goals, the practice can be tailored to meet your individual needs. Prompt. How to develop a growth mindset answer. Developing a growth mindset involves a few key steps. 1. Embrace challenges. Instead of avoiding difficulties, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Embrace the idea that challenges can help you improve. 2. Learn from criticism. Instead of taking feedback personally, view it as a valuable source of information that can help you develop your skills. 3. Celebrate effort. Focus on the process rather than just the outcome. Recognize and celebrate the effort you put into tasks, regardless of the results. 4. Cultivate curiosity. Stay curious and open to new experiences. Ask questions and seek out knowledge in areas that interest you. 5. Surround yourself with growth-minded people. Engage with individuals who have a growth mindset. Their attitudes and behaviors can inspire and motivate you. 6. Practice self-reflection. Regularly reflect on your experiences, what you've learned, and how you can improve. This helps reinforce a growth-oriented perspective. 7. Set learning goals. Instead of focusing solely on performance goals, set goals that emphasize learning and personal development. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you can gradually shift your mindset towards one that embraces growth and learning. Prompt. Steps to overcome perfectionism answer. What do you believe perfectionism is holding you back from achieving in your life? How has it prevented you from embracing your full potential and reaching your goals? Prompt. Tips for networking effectively answer. Sure, here are some tips for networking effectively. 1. Set clear goals. Know what you want to achieve through networking, whether it's finding a mentor, exploring job opportunities, or learning more about a specific industry. 2. Be genuine. Authenticity builds trust. Approach networking with a sincere interest in others rather than just focusing on your own needs. 3. Listen actively. Show genuine interest by listening more than you talk. Ask open-ended questions and be attentive to the other person's responses. 4. Elevator pitch. Develop a concise and compelling way to introduce yourself and explain what you do. Keep it relevant to the context. 5. Leverage social media. Use platforms like LinkedIn to connect with industry professionals, join groups, and participate in discussions. 6. Attend events. Participate in industry conferences, workshops, and networking events to meet people in person. 7. Be proactive. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Reach out to people you admire or want to learn from. 8. Follow-up. After meeting someone, send a personalized follow-up message to thank them and keep the conversation going. 9. Provide value. Think about what you can offer to others, whether it's sharing a useful resource, making an introduction, or offering your expertise. 10. Stay consistent. Regularly engage with your network, even when you don't need anything from them. This sustains relationships over time. 11. Be patient. Building meaningful relationships takes time. Don't rush the process. 12. Keep track. Maintain a record of your contacts and interactions. Note important details about individuals to personalize future communications. By following these tips, you can build a strong, supportive network and cultivate valuable professional relationships. Prompt. 
How to Build Emotional Intelligence Answer Building emotional intelligence involves developing self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Here are some steps you can take. 1. Self-awareness. Reflect on your emotions and identify patterns. Keep a journal to track your feelings and triggers. Practice mindfulness and meditation to become more in tune with your emotional state. 2. Self-regulation. Learn to pause and think before responding to emotional triggers. Develop coping strategies for managing stress and frustration. Practice relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation. 3. Motivation. Set personal goals that align with your values. Cultivate a positive outlook by focusing on what you can control. Celebrate small achievements to maintain enthusiasm and drive. 4. Empathy. Practice active listening to understand others' perspectives. Show genuine interest in others' feelings and experiences. Engage in conversations that allow you to see the world through others' eyes. 5. Social skills. Work on effective communication by expressing your thoughts and feelings clearly. Practice conflict resolution by striving for win-win outcomes. Build rapport by being approachable and open-minded in your interactions. 6. Feedback and Reflection Seek feedback from others to understand how your emotions affect them. Reflect on interactions and consider how you can improve. 7. Continuous Learning Read books, take courses, or attend workshops focused on emotional intelligence. Stay informed about emotional health and strategies for improvement. Developing emotional intelligence is an ongoing process, and consistent practice can lead to more fulfilling relationships and enhanced well-being. Prompt, daily habits of successful people answer. Prompt, how to develop resilience answer. Developing resilience is a valuable skill that can help you navigate challenges and bounce back from adversity. Here are some strategies to cultivate resilience. 1. Build strong relationships. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family. Strong social connections provide emotional support and a sense of belonging. 2. Practice self-care. Prioritize your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, adequate sleep, and mindfulness practices like meditation can enhance your resilience. 3. Set realistic goals. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. Celebrate your achievements along the way to maintain motivation and a sense of progress. 4. Develop a positive mindset. Focus on positive thinking and practice gratitude. Reframe negative thoughts and look for lessons in challenging situations. 5. Embrace change. Accept that change is a part of life. Being adaptable and open to new experiences can help you manage stress more effectively. 6. Learn problem-solving skills. Enhance your ability to tackle challenges by developing critical thinking and problem-solving skills. This can help you feel more in control during difficult times. 7. Cultivate emotional awareness. Understand and acknowledge your emotions. This can help you process feelings and respond to stress in a healthy way. 8. Seek professional help. If you find it difficult to cope with stress or adversity, consider talking to a therapist or counselor. They can provide strategies and support tailored to your needs. 9. Practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing exercises, to help you stay grounded and focused during tough times. 10. Reflect on past experiences. Think about challenges you've faced in the past and how you overcame them. This reflection can build confidence in your ability to handle future difficulties. 11. Stay committed to learning. View setbacks as opportunities for growth. Learning from experiences can help you develop a more resilient mindset. 12. Volunteer or help others. Engaging in acts of kindness and helping others can foster a sense of purpose and community, which can enhance your own resilience. Remember, resilience is not about avoiding stress, but rather about how you respond to it. Developing resilience takes time and practice, so be patient with yourself as you work on these strategies. Prompt, benefits of continuous learning answer. Continuous learning offers a multitude of benefits, both personally and professionally. Here are some key advantages. 1. Adaptability. 
In a rapidly changing world, continuous learning helps individuals adapt to new technologies, methodologies, and market trends. This flexibility is crucial in maintaining relevance in various fields. Two, skill development. Ongoing education enables individuals to acquire new skills and refine existing ones, enhancing their expertise and making them more competitive in the job market. Three, career advancement. Employers often value employees who take the initiative to learn and grow. Continuous learning can lead to promotions, new job opportunities, and increased earning potential. Four, increase confidence. Gaining knowledge and skills boosts self-esteem and confidence, empowering individuals to take on new challenges and responsibilities. Five, networking opportunities. Engaging in learning environments, such as workshops, seminars, or online courses, allows individuals to meet like-minded peers and professionals, expanding their professional network. Six, enhance problem-solving skills. Continuous learning encourages critical thinking and creativity, enabling individuals to approach problems from different angles and find innovative solutions. Seven, personal fulfillment. Learning new things can be intrinsically rewarding. It fosters a sense of accomplishment and can lead to greater overall life satisfaction. Eight, improve cognitive function. Engaging in lifelong learning can help keep the mind sharp, potentially reducing the risk of cognitive decline as one ages. Nine, broader perspective. Exposure to diverse subjects and ideas can enhance one's worldview, fostering empathy and the understanding of different cultures and perspectives. 10, resilience. Continuous learning promotes a growth mindset, helping individuals become more resilient in the face of challenges and setbacks. 11, staying current. In many fields, especially technology and healthcare, knowledge can become outdated quickly. Continuous learning ensures that individuals remain informed about the latest developments and best practices. 12. Increase job satisfaction. Engaging in continuous learning can lead to a more fulfilling career, as individuals find new interests and passions within their field. In summary, continuous learning is a vital component of personal growth, professional development, and overall well-being. It empowers individuals to navigate an ever-changing world with confidence and competence. Prompt, how to build self-discipline answer. Building self-discipline is a gradual process that involves setting clear goals, maintaining motivation, and developing good habits. Here are some steps to help you strengthen your self-discipline. One, set clear goals. Define specific, achievable, and measurable goals. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks. Two, create a plan. Develop a structured plan with deadlines for each task. Prioritize tasks based on importance and urgency. Three, remove temptations. Identify distractions and find ways to minimize or eliminate them. Create an environment conducive to focus and productivity. Four, establish routine. Develop daily routines that incorporate your tasks and activities. Consistency is key to forming habits. Five, practice self-control. Delay gratification and resist the urge to engage in instant pleasures. Use techniques like the 10-minute rule to pause before giving in to impulses. Six, stay motivated. Remind yourself of the reasons behind your goals. Use positive affirmations and visualize your success. Seven. Monitor progress. Track your progress regularly to stay accountable. Celebrate small victories to boost morale. Eight, embrace failure. Understand that setbacks are part of the process. Learn from mistakes and adjust your plan as needed. Nine, build resilience. Cultivate patience and persistence. Practice stress management techniques like mindfulness or meditation. 10, seek support. Share your goals with friends, family, or a mentor for encouragement. Consider joining groups or communities with similar objectives. Remember that self-discipline is a skill that improves over time with consistent effort and practice. Prompt, tips for improving communication skills answer. Prompt, techniques to handle constructive criticism answer. Prompt, how to manage stress at work answer. To manage stress at work, let's start by exploring your specific job demands and your current coping mechanisms. How do you typically handle stress in your work environment? 
Is there anything that can be adjusted or changed to make your work situation more manageable? It's also crucial to prioritize self-care and ensure you have a healthy work-life balance. How are you taking care of yourself outside of work? Prompt. Steps to improve work efficiency. Answer. Improving work efficiency can make a big difference in productivity and overall job satisfaction. Here are some steps you can take. 1. Set clear goals. Define what you want to achieve in both the short and long term. Having specific, measurable goals helps you stay focused. 2. Prioritize tasks. Use techniques like the Eisenhower matrix to distinguish between what's urgent and important. Focus on high-priority tasks first. 3. Create a schedule. Plan your day or week in advance. Allocate specific time blocks for different tasks to help manage your time effectively. 4. Minimize distractions. Identify what commonly distracts you and find ways to reduce those interruptions. This could mean turning off notifications or creating a dedicated workspace. 5. Use productivity tools. Leverage apps and tools designed to enhance productivity, such as task managers, calendars, or time tracking software. 6. Take breaks. Don't forget to take regular breaks to recharge. Techniques like the Pomodoro Technique can help you maintain focus while ensuring you rest adequately. 7. Stay organized. Keep your workspace tidy and organized. A clutter-free environment can help you think more clearly and work more efficiently. 8. Reflect and adjust. Regularly review your progress and reflect on what's working and what isn't. Be open to adjusting your strategies as needed. 9. Invest in skills. Continuously seek opportunities to learn and improve your skills. This can lead to more efficient work processes and better outcomes. 10. Maintain work-life balance. Ensure you're not overworking yourself. A healthy balance can lead to increased motivation and productivity. By implementing these steps, you can create a more efficient work environment and enhance your overall performance. Good luck! Prompt. How to cultivate gratitude answer. Cultivating gratitude can be a rewarding practice. Here are some friendly tips to help you get started. 1. Keep a gratitude journal. Write down a few things you're grateful for each day. This can help you focus on the positive aspects of your life. 2. Practice mindfulness. Take a moment to pause and appreciate the present. Whether it's enjoying a cup of coffee or a beautiful sunset, being mindful can enhance your sense of gratitude. 3. Express your thanks. Don't hesitate to tell people in your life that you appreciate them. A simple thank you can strengthen your relationships and boost your mood. 4. Reflect on challenges. Sometimes, looking back at difficult times and recognizing how they've helped you grow can foster gratitude for your current situation. 5. Create a gratitude ritual. Incorporate gratitude into your daily routine, like sharing what you're thankful for at dinner or before bed. 6. Volunteer or help others. Giving back can shift your perspective and help you appreciate what you have. Remember, cultivating gratitude is a personal journey, so find what resonates with you. Prompt. Tips for finding a mentor answer. Finding a mentor can significantly impact your personal and professional growth. Here are some tips to help you find the right mentor. 1. Define your goals. Clarify what you want to achieve through. Mentorship. This could be career advancement, skill development, networking, or personal growth. Knowing your goals will help you identify the right mentor. 2. Identify potential mentors. Look for individuals who have the experience, skills, and qualities you admire. This could be someone within your organization, in your industry, or even outside your field. Consider professors, industry leaders, or professionals in your network. 3. Leverage networking opportunities. Attend industry events, workshops, conferences, and networking meetups. Engaging with professionals in your field can help you identify potential mentors. 4. Utilize online platforms. Use platforms like LinkedIn to connect with potential mentors. Follow their work, engage with their content, and reach out with a personalized message expressing your interest in learning from them. 5. Be respectful of their time. When approaching a potential mentor, be concise and respectful. Acknowledge their busy schedule and propose a brief meeting or call to discuss your goals and seek their advice. 6. Prepare for the meeting. If a mentor agrees to meet with you, 
come prepared with specific questions and topics to discuss. This shows that you value their time and are serious about your development. 7. Build a genuine relationship. Mentorship is often more effective when there is a genuine connection. Take the time to build a rapport, show appreciation, and maintain regular communication. 8. Be open to feedback. A good mentor will provide constructive criticism. Be open to their insights and willing to adapt based on their advice. 9. Show gratitude. Always express your appreciation for their time and guidance. A simple thank you note can go a long way in building a lasting relationship. 10. Be patient and persistent. Finding the right mentor may take time. Don't get discouraged if your first few attempts don't lead to a mentorship. Keep networking and reaching out. 11. Consider formal mentorship programs. Some organizations and professional associations offer formal mentorship programs. These can provide structured opportunities to connect with mentors. 12. Be a good mentee. Demonstrate commitment, follow through on advice, and share your progress. A good mentor will appreciate your dedication and may be more inclined to invest in your development. By following these tips, you can increase your chances of finding a mentor who can guide and support you on your journey. Prompt. How to assess personal strengths and weaknesses answer. Assessing personal strengths and weaknesses is an important self-reflective process that can help you in personal development, career planning, and improving relationships. Here are some steps you can take to effectively assess your strengths and weaknesses. 1. Self-reflection. Journaling. Write down your thoughts about what you consider your strengths and weaknesses. Reflect on past experiences, accomplishments, and challenges. Identify patterns. Look for recurring themes in your experiences. What do you excel at? What do you struggle with? 2. Seek feedback. Ask others. Reach out to friends, family, colleagues, or mentors for their perspectives. They may see strengths or weaknesses that you might overlook. 360-degree feedback. If applicable, consider a formal feedback process where peers, supervisors, and subordinates provide insights into your performance. 3. Use assessment tools. Personality tests. Consider taking assessments like the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBDI, StrengthsFinder, or DISC assessment to gain insights into your personality traits and strengths. Skills assessments. Use online tools or career assessments to evaluate your skills and competencies. 4. Analyze your achievements and challenges. Successes. List your achievements and identify the skills or traits that contributed to those successes. Failures. Reflect on challenges or failures. What skills or traits were lacking? What could you improve? 5. Set goals. Personal development goals. Based on your assessment, set specific, measurable goals for developing your strengths further and addressing your weaknesses. Action plan. Create an action plan to work on your weaknesses and leverage your strengths. 6. Regular review. Periodic check-ins. Regularly revisit your assessment to see if your strengths and weaknesses have changed over time. Adjust your goals and action plans accordingly. 7. Mindfulness and emotional intelligence. Practice mindfulness. Being aware of your thoughts and feelings can help you understand your reactions and behaviors better. Emotional intelligence. Work on understanding your emotions and how they affect your actions, as well as how to empathize with others. 8. Engage in new experiences. Try new activities. Engaging in new activities can help you discover hidden strengths or weaknesses. It can also provide opportunities for growth and learning. Conclusion. Assessing your strengths and weaknesses is an ongoing process. Be open to change and growth. And remember that both strengths and weaknesses are part of what makes you unique. Embrace your strengths while working on your weaknesses to become the best version of yourself.